So today is March 31st and I'm traveling in Seattle and I also got paid today so I wanted to go ahead and pay off the credit card. Um, I'm actually able to pay it off in full one last big payment so this is what I owe $2,300. $59.36, so uh, more than half of my paycheck is about to go towards paying this down, or off. Yeah, off, not down, because it's almost over. So, okay, make a payment. Payment amount, and we're just gonna do the current balance, which is the entire thing. Okay, so next. Um, let's see. Ah! It's like a good thing, but it's also a lot of money that I would rather just have for myself. Uh, but this, this is what happens when you get yourself into a credit card debt. You just have to do things like this and pay very large payments. Okay. And one, two, three. Okay, and I now have 23,000 in available credit through them. Ta -da! Zero, it's at zero. So I did that. I paid off 9,500 and something dollars in three months. Three months exactly, because I started January 1st. So that's three months of not eating out the way that I would want to eat out. That's three months of not buying things the way I want to buy things. And just three months of like prioritizing uh, this goal of paying it off. And now gotta figure out what's next. I am out of credit card debt. We did it! Huh. We did that like three months. I'm like honestly surprised because I didn't think that I would actually be able to do it because like the math, math wise, um, it didn't look like I would be able to do it in three months. And I, you know, when I planned everything out in January, I thought that I would get pretty close, but I'd have to take money out of my savings to pay off the last like few hundred or so. But I did not have to do that. I never touched my savings and I just cash flowed paying it off for three months. And just to show y'all, um, so that was like over a week. Yeah, it's like eight days ago that I paid it off and I, it still paid off. So this is my current balance of zero dollars. Um, so what you're seeing here, that payment, they still charge me interest. So like I got my credit card statement and even though like I paid everything off, they paid, they charged me some interest. So I had to pay $4.66. In interest which was annoying I had to pay that on the 8th and then um, I am rewarding myself so um, this card is the city double cash card and I get 2% cash back and with all the things that I bought <laughs> uh, I got 50,410 points which means I um, Basically, those points convert into money, and I have about $504.10 in cash back. So I'm going to use that money, and I bought a juicer. Y'all will see in some upcoming videos, but I want to start taking my health a lot more seriously. Um, so I bought a, I think it's called the Nama J2 juicer. It's a very expensive juicer. Um, you can get juicers for cheaper, um, but like everyone in the juicing world says that like this is the best juicer and I'm bougie and I wanted the best. So <laughs> I got that, but I'm using my um, cash rewards, so I'm not really paying much for it. Um, I looks like I'll have to pay like 20 so dollars. It's hard for me to do math on camera. $26 or so that I'll have to pay for it um, out of my personal money, but the rest will be covered by my reward points. That is the one upside, like the one upside of 
um, having credit cards is that a lot of them give you either cash back or like discounts to things like that. But we've learned a very valuable lesson, haven't we? That credit cards are dangerous. Like they can be used for good, but they can also be used for bad. So we're, we're no longer going to be using them in a bad way. I'm not gonna stop using credit cards. It's just moving forward. I will only use them if I also have that money in my checking account. Um, because otherwise, like it just, that's how you get into $10,000 worth of consumer debt. Um, so yeah, so we're not doing that moving forward. While we're here, let's just go back and look at the progress that was made over the last three months. So starting January 1st, I owed $9,583.64. I paid $2,600 in January. And it just keeps going down, keeps going down. And I ended January owing $6,983. Then in February, I paid $3,793.50. Fifty four cents, and I ended February owing. Wait, that's how? How can that be? Hold on. Oh, I guess I never put the screenshots up because that doesn't. Did I put the wrong screenshot here, or did I just not include? Okay, sorry. Anyway, um, March I um, started the balance at $4,862.18. And just boom, 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 boom. I did a very hefty payment uh, at the end of March. I paid $2,359.32 on March 31st, so that I now have a balance of zero dollars you see it you see it <sighs> i'm proud of myself and also like kind of annoyed at myself because that was like ten thousand dollars that could have been used to pay off my um well not pay off but go towards uh, saving for a house so i don't know maybe i needed to go through this to learn the lesson of don't ever do this again like, don't ever do this again. Hi, so I'm sitting here editing this video and I wanted to tell y'all my plans like moving forward. Like now that I have paid off the credit card, what do I wanna do next? And I realized that this would actually be better as like its own separate video. So this is me like adding the outro like right now. Uh, so thank y'all for watching. It's over and I'm so happy that everything is paid off. Um, thank you for watching the video. Like the video. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Leave some comments down below and I'll see y'all next time.